Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a quick video because this is um, one of the most complicated griefings I've had in a while. Um, so this is really just to help uh, any staff or mods or anyone else who's running a server really just to um, maybe show you a little bit better on how to properly diagnose and then roll back a grief like this without causing too much uh, problems. Uh, so let me head on down real quick. Uh, oh, we are not wearing the elite tracker. Okay. Uh, so first thing, let's just quick go into staff mode, and uh, let's turn on core. Nope. And uh, I don't know. You can see. So seven hours ago, there was a fire here, so someone did set fire. Um, and let's let's have a look. Okay, look up. Time one day action uh, fire. I'm not sure if this is a valid command. No, it's not. Uh, one second, let me grab the correct command. Pair with. So I'm going to look up within 30 radius, seven days. Let's change that to one day. Uh, B fire, E fire. Uh, I can't tell you off the top of my head what that means, but uh, let's exclude water. Oh, E I think is exclude. So we want to exclude um, water placement. And there we go. So there's the results of who is responsible. Go look up to page two. So we know Supercal is responsible for placing fire. And so is Master Warrior. Okay, so going back here, I can sort of better understand what this does now. E is exclude. So basically, in this command, we're excluding fire placing itself because you know fire spreads. Um, so by excluding that, if you didn't exclude that, then you'd have loads of um, results showing um, fire placing fire. We don't want to see it. We want to see who originally placed the fire. Uh, sorry, the fire. Uh, so we, from there, you can see it's uh, two players. Now, the problem in a situation like this is these players have gone throughout the whole map, pretty much globally, all over the place. Possibly even in the Nether in the end, just indiscriminate griefing. Um, let me show you something else real quick. Uh, go look up time one day block TNT. Now uh, we are pretty sure from this that they have uh, see y equals seventy five. Yep, that is a lot of griefing with TNT as well as fire. So in a situation like this, you don't really want to do compartmentalized rollbacks. You don't want to roll back one player, then the other player, then fire, then TNT, because you can have a big mess of just things being rolled back in the wrong order. Um, so I think the best way to do this is to, if you find yourself in a situation like this, just don't worry about rolling back immediately. Just spend some good time trying to figure out, use both the code lookup command have a look here so obviously there was a block here that was flammable so that's burned down and um, this is another reason why having fire spread enable on a server is actually it makes it a lot more difficult to you know if you have any suggestions for um, server owners out there if you can turn off fire spread uh, you kind of make life easier for yourself really um, we can do this we can roll this back but it just adds more risk if fire spread is enabled um, so from here, um, what remains now, because I think we've worked out pretty much what happened. So I would say within the last 24 hours, we've got two players griefing. So we need to roll back the actions of those two players. We simultaneously need to roll back the action of fire spread and simultaneously TNT explosions. Um, so this is the risk. Now I know this is the command that we want to use. Let's change back to one. 
right now before I press enter here let's go fire and hash TNT now what not 100% certain but this this should be it one thing I should point out this command here be extremely careful if you if you're doing this if you're including global in your rollback command triple check the entire command just reread it very carefully because if you if you um, don't specify um, let's say you accidentally put um, 30 days and you, you don't realize and you accidentally don't include users and you, you see you're going to then end up with a 30 day rollback of all actions of fire and TNT and if you've not specified those let's say you're doing some other rollback you could end up rolling back 30 days of progress on the server now you can do uh, let me copy that co co undo I don't think the mods on the server currently have access to co undo if not let me know and I'll uh, fix that for you um, co undo is it can also be risky um, so if you're unsure just ask but um, let's see if we can fix this so again two griefers fire TNT one day radius global only one day in a worst case scenario if, if the, the global action does a massive mess up but we have the option of undoing and we also can be secure that knowing it's only going to affect one day uh, so let's try that While well, it's doing that, let's do game rule, do fire tick false. Uh, I will turn it back on, but I just want to make sure that there's no f runaway fires that have just caught a light here. Uh, bear in mind, any any um, any game rule like that is only going to affect this dimension, so they'll only affect the overworld. You have to be in the nether or the end. As far as no vanilla. It's, it is global across dimensions, but in any craft bucket fork, uh, it will... Uh, now let's go start, turn that off. Uh, game mode. And I think we are probably doing okay here. Pretty sure that's it. So yeah, just to kind of uh, give a breakdown, you can go use both the co inspection tool to try and work out who broke a specific block in a certain area uh, but don't underestimate the, the co lookup tool to just see and uh, you you can go radius you, you don't have to specify a radius you can always just say user um, in this case just put the name of someone you might suspect um, you you can do co lookup um, action uh, action plus and minus session and time one day and that will tell you pretty much anyone who's joined the server within the last day so it gives you a very um, easy way to just and also you know their coordinates um, so just to, to work out what's going on in the server um, so again in a complex grief like this just spend some time working out exactly what's gone on you know if, if I'd have done that rollback without the fire spread and all the TNT action um, it could have messed up a lot of other things I see there's a couple of creep holes so another creep hole there um, but yeah um, good luck and have fun